I don't know how I was set up to be this involved with the spiritual world. So for one, like the apartment I grew up in had a lot of paranormal activity. When I go to sleep at night, if I'm not sleeping next to somebody, I have to play gospel. I have to play gospel music. To this day? To this day. Wow. Or I'll get attacked. Like wow. that sleep paralysis, like I'll get yeah. that. I, but I get that every time if I don't play gospel music when I sleep. That's wow. Uh -huh. So you always got to make sure road, whatever, like for you. If I'm by myself, yes, I have to play it because I'll get it. Like, I don't know what that's called and I got to do more research. Right. But, and when um, you say a text, sweetie, what do you mean? Like in my dream. Right. Like, you know when you can't wake yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, oh. And you feel like somebody's sitting on top of you? Yes, man. Like, it's, it's real. And especially when I started, like, meditating more, I feel like the stronger I became spiritually, the more I started getting attacked. I don't know how I was set up to be this involved with the spiritual world. So, for one, like, the apartment I grew up in had a lot of paranormal activity. When I go to sleep at night, if I'm not sleeping next to somebody, I have to play gospel. I have to play gospel music to this day. To this day, wow. or I'll get attacked. Like wow. that sleep paralysis. Like I'll get yeah. that. I, but I get that every time if I don't play gospel music when I sleep. That's wow. Uh huh. So you always got to make sure road whatever. Like for you, if I'm by myself, yes, I have to play it because I'll get it. Like I don't know what that's called, and I got to do more research. Right. But, and when um, you say a text, sweetie, what do you mean? Like in my dream. Right. Like, you know when you can't wake yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, oh. And you feel like somebody's sitting on top of you? Yes, man. Like, it's, it's real. And especially when I started, like, meditating more, I feel like the stronger I became spiritually, the more I started getting attacked. I don't know. It might be time for him to go as well. You never really know. So I, I say you just build off of those people. Was that a ghost? You never really know, so I, I say you just build off of those people. Was that a ghost? Time for him to go as well. You never really know, so I, I say you just build off of those people. Was that a ghost? You never really know, so I, I say you just build off of those people. Was that a ghost? <laughs> Here's the book of Jude. Verse 24, I want to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever, so be it, giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to the heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachaha Kodash. Double honor to mighty church, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone, who watch over our souls, Shalom, to the Akim, who avoided our sincere and serious doing evil. Of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. To you all, stay strong and stay mighty. So, Yem the brother, the disciple Kosha Ben Yamian, when he branch in great millstone Barbados. Um, there's something called sage. And um, I forget the other, the other one you could use in order to um, cast away, take away evil spirits from your home, from your vehicle, you know, etc. You know, you use sage, right? And um, you light it and you. Um, Walk through your house, <coughs> right? Asking the Lord, Yahweh, Yah means he, Yahweh means to be or exist. Bahasham means in the name, Yahweh Shai, Yah means he, Yahweh Shai means deliverer or redeemer. Come to deliver and redeem the sins of the children of Israel, your so called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans. You see? Right. <coughs> so, Sage is one of the plants you could use to um, 
you know, cast away um, evil spirits of your home or your car, etc. You know. <coughs> Now you see in this video before you hear, and if everyone can clearly see, uh, this J, he like he on a live stream, and you see a spirit walk right past him, right? And the video before that, we want to talk about she do a lot of meditating, and um, you know get a lot of demonic attacks. But yeah, <coughs> yeah, and Barbados to call it. A dappy radio. Dappy means, uh, you know, a dead, a dead radio. You know, it happened to me um, several occasions, actually. You know what I mean? Um, the most recent one, honestly. The most recent one, it was, um, I was home laying down. And, um, like you heard the woman said, you know, that you want to get up and you can't move. And um, yeah, I wanted to get up, and they come move. I felt pinned down. You say I felt pinned down, and um, I was struggling to get up. Can't get up at all. So he said, "Yo, boy, that's a demon, boy." You know what I mean? So I called on the name of the Lord, <clears throat> right? It came out how many times, but I called on the name of the Lord. The heavenly Father's only begotten Son. Right, and um, the demon got up, but the thing is, when I when I sat up, when I sat up in the chair, now there was a so you see that shadowy figure, that shadowy figure passed right there. There was a shadowy figure sitting down at the uh, sitting down at my feet, is right, like where, where my feet was, there was a shadowy figure there, and then. It did just like this, boom, but then just disappeared. You see? Right? <clears throat> so, yeah, angels and demons and spirits are real. You see? Right? And when I get involved in these Ouija boards and meditation and witchcraft and all that, kind of, when I really invoking, like I'm saying, demons, but wanna. You see? Right? So, these, because these things are real, angels are real. Demons are real, demons are angels on your left hand side, right? And spirits or ghosts are real. Now you got the movie um, Ghostbusters. <clears throat> it's right. Now, Jacob, let me get a precept there. Um, Jacob wrestled an angel. It's right. Get that precept here, right? Uh, Genesis 33, I mean 32, sorry. See, Genesis 30, 32, verse 24. And Jacob was left alone. And there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh. And the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with the Mosai, and with men, and has prevailed. And Jacob asked him, and said, tell me, I pray thee, thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the name of the place Peniel, for I have seen the most I face to face, and my life is preserved. See? So Jacob wrestled the an angel. Right? So like your man, Jacob wrestled an angel. Um, and prevail, it's right. So, like in a minute, we're just trying to get saying there. Um, so, 
So angels and demons are real. Remember the, um remember um Job. Uh Job said um then the spirit passed by me. Let me see before you know. Right? These things are real, brother. You didn't have to play with. Right? Um, then the spirit passed by me. Let me see if I can find it, Baba Kusha. Yeah, Job 4. Job, the fourth chapter, Job 4. And, um,. Me start at twelve, right? No, a thing was secretly brought to me, and my ear received a little thereof. In thoughts from the visions of the night, when deep sleep falleth from men, fear came upon me, and trembling, which made all my bones to shake. Then the spirit passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. That what happened to this man here. You see? See that? Boom. You see that? And the, the person he was talking to was able to see it. You see? Now remember, uh, Elijah told Elisha, um, he prayed to the father that he could open the young man's eyes and see all the angels around him. So Elijah, the Lord opened Elisha's eyes and he saw all the angels surrounding Elijah, Elisha, and the, 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 the enemies that was uh, coming after them. It's like, these things were real, brother. Right? Then the spirit passed before my face and the hair of my flesh stood up. It stood still, but I could not discern the form thereof. An image was before my eyes there was silence and I heard a voice saying shall mortal man be more just than the more say just imagine that there brother just just imagine that what you call it paranormal paranormal activity and you has got he paranormal investigators going into these haunted houses and you know what I mean with the devices and the infrared cameras you know what I mean they hear a lot of noises and you know these things are real, brother. But you just call it paranormal activities, but it's really spirits, brother. So this spirit was talking to Job. I said and told Job, Shall a modern man be more just than the Mosai? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Behold, he put no trust in his servants and his angels he charged with folly. How much less in them that dwell in houses of clay, meaning us, whose foundation is in the dust, which are crushed before the moth. They are destroyed. So there's a spirit talking to Job. You got to put your mind there, boy. You can't, you know how frightening that can be, brother? Huh? They perish forever without any regarding it. Doth not their excellency, which is in them, go away? They die even without wisdom. So there's a, there's a spirit, right? Talking to Job, brother. Strong's age, 7307. Ruach. 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 Um, Wind, breath, mind, spirit. Quarter of wind, wind, blah, blah, blah. Um, prophetic spirit, spirit of the living, breathing, being in the mind, not that. Not that. Desire, spirit, see if all of them, nope.
You may go out go to the root word here. Breath from the spirit. Now, let me see what the root word say here, man. Um, Cause it said then the spirit passed by me, right? So, what the definitions there? Nah, it ain't matching right now, right? So there's the root word here, right? Strong's age at seventy three oh six. Ruach, ruach. This ain't in either. Right? Metaphor delight. No. Metaphor. So what we know is the being a metaphor either, right? Is the actual ghost, the actual the actual angel or demon that you just saw in our background there. Right? All right, let me go, man, because I ain't getting it. Um, you read the definition of that. Because the context you're reading it is, is Job was scared. And the spirit passed by him. So it was a ghost. Is right. Nah, neither. All right. Oh right, yeah, you find it right. They find it. They want to put me the true order there. So it says it here. Right, ancient angel of the presence. My lady Shekina, I don't know what that Shekina means, but it says here, divine presence as such, omnipresent, right? So, the angel passed by Job and get Job scared, That's right? Then the spirit passed before my face and the hair of my flesh stood up, so drove the freedom, brother. So this, this man here, and that girl, that woman, is right. As you can see right there. So angels, and demons, and spirits are real, brother. They are real. So right. they are real. So right. Psalm 104 and 4, who make of his angel spirits. See? See? So it was an angel. And you got angels on the left hand side and on the right side. His ministers of flame and fire. Right? Hebrews 1 and 7, and of the angels he saith, who make of his angels spirits. See? So I just showing you that <clears throat> the spirit there that Job saw was an angel. And his ministers of flame of fire, a flame of fire. Right? Hebrews 1 14. Are not the all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Right. So you got angels that come and minister to the prophets. Gives them understanding, and then you got demons that come and terrorize you, like um, the Lord cast the, the demons of the pig, um, yeah, boy, these things real, yeah. See, Matthew chapter 8, verse 32. 
30 and there was a good way off from them you know let me go up Yahweh Shai castle demons see so verse 28 so Matthew 8 28 and when he was come to the other side into the country of the <coughs> Gergesenes they met him too possessed with devils right coming out of the tombs exceeding fear so that no man might pass by that way yeah so these angels or these demons entered into these men right and they were possessed it's right and behold they cried out saying what have we to do with thee Yahweh Shai thou son of the Mosai art uh, thou come hither to torment us before the time so these devils was even frightened for our Lord Yahweh Shai tell you that in the book of James let me get saying here quick um, and they come back here the devils also believe and tremble that uh, James that uh, James 1 the devils also believe and tremble. Not James, the first chapter, my brother. James, um, one, I think it is. James, one. Um. So that came out. Ah, so that came out. The devils also believe. Yeah, these spirits, right? It was right there, man. James 2. James 2 verse 19. Thou believest that there is one power thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. So these demons, when they saw Yahweh Shai coming, they trembled, brother. Is right? See, Matthew 8 29. And behold, they cried out, saying, What have you to do with me, with thee, Yahweh Shai, thou son of the Mosai? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? And there was a good way off from them, and heard of, of many swine feeding. So the devils besought him, saying, If thou cast us out, suffer us to go away into the herd of swine. And he said unto them, Go. And when they were come out, they went into the herd of swine. So they came out of the man. Right? And behold, the whole herd, of swimming around violently down a deep, a steep place into the sea and perish in the waters. See? So, yeah, it's angels and spirits real, brother. Let me just. Um, they torment you or comfort you, you know what I mean? Alright? My bed. Shut up. And then I got one to say that was curious me with dreams too. <laughs> Another one too. Job seven and thirteen. So the girl says she she's get right if she don't play gospel music or somebody don't um, deal with her. Right? Job seven thirty, when I see my bed shall comfort me, my coat shall ease my complaint. Then thou scares me with dreams and terrifies me through visions. So that my soul through the strangling and death rather than my life. 
Yeah, boy. Hey, me. But yeah, I just want to do this short video. Yeah, man. Sorry for the um, the long pause and thing, but these things are real, brother. These things are real, boy. Those where you never really know. So I, I say you just build off of those people. Was that a ghost? Or you never really know. So I, I say you just build off of those people. Was that a ghost? Yeah, boy. But you hear some doors just shutting. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, boy. Is that? It? We got a movie called uh, Insidious. <laughs> yeah, boy, insidious. The devil made me do it. Look, see, paranormal activity. Paranormal activity is an American supernatural horror franchise consisting of seven films and additional media created by uh, Owen Pay. Lucky man. Ah, it's a lucky man. Stop it, my brother. Paranormal activity. This actual, this actual movie, but this is what you saw. Just call it. This is definition for uh, being, um, or you know what? Um. I don't know how I was set up to be this involved with the spiritual world. So for one, like the apartment I grew up in had a lot of paranormal activity. When I go to sleep at night, if I'm not sleeping next to somebody, I have to play gospel. I have to play gospel music. To this day? To this day. Wow. I'll get attacked. Like wow. that sleep paralysis, like I'll get yeah. that. I'll, oh, yeah. But I get that every time if I don't. Yeah, another one kind of mind there. Yeah, how we show you know? Yeah, boy, wait a minute. Come on, huh? Paul, I you know. Yeah, how we show you know? Paul, I you know. But who are you? Acts 19, verse 15. Acts 19, we go a little bit. 13, right? No, boy, I got what, boy. 11, right? And the power, and the Mosai wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul, so that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchief or aprons and the diseases departed from them and the evil spirits went out from them of them right so these diseases really evil spirits too real thing you know what i mean you gotta get deeper right then certain of the vagabond jews exorcists right to exercise out the demons over here right to upon them to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai saying, We adjure you by Yahweh Shai whom Paul preacheth. And they came, and there were seven sons of one Sceva, a Jew, and chief of the priests, which did so. And the evil spirit, you say, answered and said, Yahweh Shai, I know, and Paul, I know, but who are ye? And the men, and the man in whom the evil spirit was, was leaped on them. And overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled off that house naked and wounded. Yeah, boy, so that evil spirit. Fuck up their man, man. So I play gospel music when I sleep. That's wild. Uh -huh. So you always got to make sure road, whatever, like for you. If I'm by myself, yes, I have to play it because I'll get it. Like, I don't know what that's called and I got to do more research. Right. 
But, and when um, you say attack, sweetie, what do you mean? Like in my dream. Right. Like, you know when you can't wake yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. Oh. And you feel like somebody's sitting on top of you? Yes, man. Like, it's, it's real. And especially when I started, like, meditating more, I feel like the stronger I became spiritually, the more I started getting attacked. You were calling me funny, son, but Um... See the celebrity ghost stories, see? It's a full thing about it, man. See? The full thing about it, boy, you know what I mean? See? I'm because people would think I'm lying or I'm delusional to this day it's it's i'm very careful about who i talk to about the story but this is a fact this is something that happened to me experience happened to me about uh, it was early 80s uh, in Los Angeles, California. I was an actor, uh, a struggling actor, just trying to figure out how to make a, a career, a real go of it. People who know me know that I stopped by my mom's house, you know, a couple times a week to go see my mom. Everybody who knows me knows that about me. So one day I asked to give her a call. She doesn't answer the phone. So I stop by. And my mom meets me outside her house and tells me to get back in the car and go home. And it was really weird. I was like, Mom, are you okay? She was like, yeah, baby, I'm fine. Just get back in the car and go home. I'll talk to you later. Call me when you get home. So I called her when I got home, and she said everything was fine. So a couple days later, I stopped by her house again. And she meets me outside like clockwork and says, get back in the car and go home. And I'm like, Mom, what's going on? Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. You, you, you cannot be here now. And I'm like, is somebody bothering you? No, no. She said, baby, just get in the car. If you see any of your friends, don't stop. Go home. Go straight home. I asked my mother if there was anyone in the house. She said no. And I looked at her. And she said, no. Mama wants you to go home. So I looked at her like, okay, mom, all right, okay. And I got in the car and I went home. I was tempted on the second occasion, especially to push my way past her and go in the house to see if everything was okay. But I would never disrespect my mom. But my mother's not as a meek like frail type person she's a very strong woman james brown said papa don't take no mess mama don't take no mess at all and you know that a couple days go by and my phone rings it's my mom so she asked me to if i can come and see her so i'm like yeah mom are you okay she's like when can you get here so i said i can leave now so i'm in yeah, so, um, yeah, I haven't made a video too long, I haven't made it so long already. <laughs> so, like, yeah, but let's get one more last preset here. Um, communicate with the dead. All oh, these Ouija boards and all, and I can't really deal with it. When I know when I know what game myself into boy. Communicate with the dead. I know that's a preset and all. Um Communicate with the dead. 
uh can't find that place oh brother uh Yeah, do you want me 18? Do you want me 18? Do you want me 18 verse 11? Do you want me 18? Deuteronomy 18 verse Spiritism forbidden, see? Right? There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that use of divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulted with familiar spirits, or a wizard or a necromancer. Yeah, so that's that you're going to communicate with the dead, then the Ouija boards, etc. You know what I mean? You know you're getting involved in, boy. That's what that woman is doing, too. Meditating and all that kind of big man. You know you're getting involved in, boy. But yeah, so lock your mind in. Whoever stayed this time to have watched it to the end. These things are real. If you're watching part two of that video, too. So, yeah, I'm going to watch part two. Shalom.